Hi Chair Yogis, Kirsty here and welcome back to my channel. Today we will be doing Chair Yoga Level 3. So if you have already been practicing my Chair Yoga Level 1 and 2, this is the perfect next step. If you're new to chair yoga, but feel like you may already be starting off at a more advanced place, then this is a perfect place to start. So let's go ahead and slip into something comfy, grab your chair, and let's begin. So we will start today by just finding a nice comfortable seat. You'll allow your palms to rest on your thighs. They can face down for a little bit more grounding, or if you'd like your palms to face up to receive a little bit more energy, that's a wonderful place to begin as well. We'll close our eyes from here and just allow our whole body to arrive in our space today. Take a few moments to just acknowledge how you're feeling, to check in with yourself, to give gratitude for showing up to your chair and your practice today. You can start to notice your breathing here. Maybe starting to build a little bit of momentum with your inhales and your exhales. And then all together, let's take a slow breath in. Fill up to the top of your lungs just as high as they can go. And then open your mouth and let it out. <sighs> Let's do that once more, a slow and deep, expansive inhale. And open your mouth, let it out. <sighs> now for the remainder of this practice, if it's available to you, we will be breathing in and out of our nose. So sealing our lips, taking a breath in through our nose and out through your nose. Really good work. Now that we're nice and grounded, let's go ahead and begin. We'll plant our palms on our knees, almost like you're grabbing the top of your knees. And then we'll start to move our body in any organic way. So you can just kind of roll out your shoulders, maybe shift from side to side. Maybe you can start to take some shoulder rolls or even rolls in your spine by moving forward and back. I just want you to start to feel into your intuitive body here. Just kind of let it be natural, moving with ease and then come right back to center. So just getting out any of those sticky spots. And we're going to take cat cows from here. So on your inhale breath, you'll send your shoulders back, lift up through your chest and chin and puff up through your heart space. So we're kind of trying to find this arch in our back. And then on your exhale, you will round into your shoulders and tuck your chin to your chest. Look down at your belly button. Good, let's do that again. It can be as big or as small as you need. Maybe you're just moving one inch and looking up slowly and then exhaling to round gently. Two more times. Inhale to slowly lift your chest and heart. Exhale to gently round your spine and tuck your chin. Good. Come right back to center. Try and stack your shoulders over your hips so you have a nice postural alignment here. And we'll start by building a little bit of heat in those legs. So we're just going to start by simply lifting our heels and then planting them on the ground. Good. Lift your heels and plant them on the ground. Two more. Lift and plant. Lift 
and plant. Good work. Now let's take that in the opposite direction. Toes lift and then they plant. Toes lift and plant. One more toes up and down. Beautiful work. So we are moving right into our sun salutation letter A. This is our spinal warm up and it's going to get into our full body. So with your next inhale, just take your arms out wide and take your fingertips all the way up towards the sky, just as high as they can go. You'll press your palms together and then seal your thumbs in towards your heart. Press your thumbs at your sternum and pause here for just a moment. We call this a mudra, a mudra just meaning this kind of signal or this, this blessing to ourselves, this prayer inwards. So take it if you need it, just a few moments to set an intention for your practice today. Maybe it's just to move your body in a way that feels right, or maybe it's to gain strength and flexibility and mobility or simply to just be present. Good. Inhale, arms up to the sky, sweep them high, lift your gaze. Exhale, pull your hands through your heart, press your thumbs right into your chest. Again, inhale, arms go high, really reaching. Exhale, hands will seal to your heart, already moving some energy around. Now inhale, take your arms up towards the sky here, lift your gaze and pause. Just hold for a moment. See if you can really pull through your fingertips and then release your left arm down towards your left side body. Now notice here how I am mirroring you. So even though it's my right arm, if you're looking right at me, it will be your left arm. Then we'll take those top fingertips and we'll stretch all the way up and over over towards the left. Reach through your side body. Breathe here. Good, inhale, take both arms back up, lift your gaze. Exhale, release that right arm down this time and then lean up and over to the right side. You'll feel that nice side body stretch through your obliques. Good, then inhale right back up through center. Now on your exhale, reach your palms all the way out to the sides and then all the way down towards your shins. Now this might be just as far as you go today, but if you can, you can even start to reach your fingertips down towards your ankles, your toes, or maybe even the ground. Just do what works best for your body. Good, then slowly roll yourself all the way up to that seated position and give yourself a moment. Just kind of notice all of that fresh blood flow coming down back into our body. Let's do that two more times together. Inhale, reach your arms up. We call this mountain pose. Exhale, release that left arm and stretch up and over to the left, maybe just an inch further. Inhale, pull back to center. Exhale, over to the other side, lean. Good, inhale, pull back up to center. Exhale, swan dive your arms down either to your knees, your shins, your ankles, your toes, or to the earth. Fold and feel. Inhale, roll all the way back up to seated and pause there. Last time for our sun A. Inhale, arms up to the sky. Exhale, side body stretch, left arm releases. Inhale, center. Exhale, other side. Really feel that fluidity in your breath. Inhale, center. Exhale, big swan dive into your forward fold, knees, ankles, toes, all the way down. And then slowly roll up from there.
pause at the center. Beautiful work. Good. Now, we'll move into our sun B, which is our lower body workout. So what we'll do is we'll plant our feet down on the mat, and our next shape is called chair pose. And luckily enough for us, we are already sitting in the chair. So all we need to do is bring our arms right out in front of us. Extend your fingertips forward. Now, if you want a little bit more here, press into your feet so you feel the engagement in your legs. If you want even a little bit more, start to lean forward and maybe lift your bum up off of your chair so that you come into a full chair pose. Now let's hold here and breathe for three, four, two, and one. Sit back down on your chair or if you're already there, just stay. We'll take another breath in and on your exhale, release your right arm down by your side and then all the way behind you for an open arm twist. You'll even take your gaze all the way to the back of the room if that's available. Hold for three, two, one. Inhale, take that right arm down and back to center. I know those arms are burning, stick with me. Another breath in. Exhale, left arm goes down and we open it up to the back of our chair. Maybe look over the fingertips. If that's not available, just look straight ahead. The deepest twist you can find for three, for two, and one. Inhale, right back to center and release your hands down by your sides. Shake them out. That was a lot of work on those arms. Good. The next part of this sun B is our warrior two. So you'll just take that right leg and you'll wiggle it open to the right, just as far as it can go. Okay. And then you'll take your left leg and you'll straighten it. So it might be straight right in front of you, or you might be able to scoot to the front of your chair and kind of extend it out just like this. Find your variation and then take your arms nice and wide in a T position. You'll gaze over your right fingertips. Big breath in, big breath out. Warrior two. Now start to reach your fingertips towards that right knee and then lift your left arm to the sky and extend through your right side body. Good. Now inhale, reverse your warrior. So float your right arm high and your left arm back. And then we're gonna take that two more times. Exhale, bring the right arm down, left arm high. Inhale, reverse your warrior, you've got it, pull it back. Good, once more, exhale, bring it down. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, back to center, one leg at a time come to neutral. Great work. Now we're going to take all of that over to the other side. So this time we will peel open through our left knee. Okay. And then we'll extend our right leg. And maybe that right leg is just straight in front of you. Or if you have a little more space, you can kind of plant your foot on the ground and really feel that stretch through your inner thighs. Now arms go wide. And this time we gaze over our left fingertips. Hold here. Really feel that energy pushing out of your fingertips. Big inhale. Exhale, bring your left arm down and your right arm high. Good, and then inhale, reverse your warrior. Pull your front arm forward and up. Exhale, float right down. Inhale, reverse your warrior. It's kind of like a little dance, just breaking up any stagnant energy in your arms, shoulders. Inhale. Exhale. Last time, big reach. And come back to center. Beautiful work from there. Now we're going to continue warming up that lower body. So we'll take our right leg and we'll extend it out in front of us. Keep flexing your toes towards your face. And then from here, we'll just release that foot down. 
Good, again, lift it, release it. Try and engage your quad every time, lift, release. Last time, lift, now hold here, and we'll take little tiny pulses for 10, nine, keep breathing, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, release. Whoo, I feel that burn. <laughs> Other side now, left leg goes out and comes down. Now use your breath here, inhale out, exhale down. Inhale out, exhale down. Last one, breathe in, hold it, pulse it, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, you got three, two, one. Beautiful. Good. Now we're gonna move into the hamstrings a little bit. So let's take that right leg, extend it out in front of us, let your heel meet the ground, and then flex your toes back towards your face. From here, we'll take our fingertips and walk them down to our knee, down to our ankle, and then maybe we can even touch our toes here. Now just know that everybody's body is different. We all have skeletal variation. So maybe for you, this is enough. But maybe if you have more space, you're all the way folded over those toes for three, four, two, and one. Slowly come back up. Engage your core as you slide that right leg in and then send your left leg out. Let's begin here, one step at a time, maybe just two inches, maybe your edge is all the way into that fold, and breathe. Beautiful, slowly walk your hands back, lift your chest, and plant both feet on the mat. From here, we'll extend our arms right out to the sides and we'll start to take some little circles forwards. I think you guys all know this exercise. Today we're going to take 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hold. Okay, 15 to the back. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, hold. Good. Flip your palms to open and then bring them together like you're clapping your hands. From there, interlace all 10 fingers and then pull your hands to your heart just like so. From there, we'll press our palms open, really stretching through our wrists and fingers. Okay, and now notice some of you might be right here. That's plenty. Just take the variation that works for you. Good. Now pull those hands back in. One more time. Press them out. Stretch through your wrists really good for any tension in those wrists and fingers, any arthritis. And then from here, once more, press and pull. Now bring your elbows in towards your body and we'll just kind of roll out our wrists from here. Let them feel really good. Maybe get some little pops in your fingers and release your arms to the sides. Inhale, extend your arms out wide. Flip your palms up towards the sky. And then take both arms across your body. So you grab for opposite shoulders here. Give yourself a little squeeze, a little hug. Good. Inhale, open your arms wide. Exhale, Bind your palms across your body and squeeze. We call this eagle arms. This is really good for our lymphatic system, really squeezing out all of those lymph nodes in our upper body. Let's do two more. Inhale, exhale, squeeze. Inhale, exhale, squeeze. Last one, inhale. 
Exhale, squeeze and hold. Give yourself a hug, a little bit of acknowledgement for showing up to your chair today. Release your palms down by your side. Great work, guys. Let's move on from here. So we're going to take a figure four in our legs, and this is really good for our outer hips. Now, if you know that this is too much, you can just keep your feet exactly where they are. I will always give you a lot of suggestions, but you always make the best decisions for your body. So if you're ready, you can take that right ankle and just cross it over your left knee. You're going to feel that almost immediately through your outer hip. You'll take your right hand and just gently press. We're not pressing hard. It's just kind of gravity and a little bit of energy going into that knee. From there, you'll take your left arm and reach it all the way behind your head, just like that. Now take a big breath in. On your exhale, pull your left elbow all the way towards that right knee, finding a crunch here. Good. Inhale, open it up. Exhale, crunch. Really pull your core in. We're working that abdominal section. Two more. Inhale, open. Exhale, crunch. Nice and slow. Last one. Inhale, open it. Exhale, crunch. Now hold right here. Really engage your core. You've got it. For five, four, Three, two, one. Inhale to open. Exhale, release that hand. And then just very gently release your foot down as well. Okay, you ready? Other side. Left ankle comes over that right knee. You should be nice and warm now. And you might feel that immediately in the hip. Okay, and it's also okay if your knee is lifted. So you don't have to look like me. Your body is going to have its own variation and it is perfect and beautiful. We'll take this time our right hand behind our head. Our left hand rests gently on that left knee. Big breath in. Exhale, pull it across for an oblique crunch. Good. Inhale, lift. It feels so good. Exhale, crunch. Three more, inhale, exhale, engage, inhale, exhale, engage, last one, inhale, exhale, pull, inhale, back up, exhale, release, ankle and foot down to the mat, great work. Now, with your next breath in, we're going to take both arms all the way up towards the sky. And then from here, we're going to lift both feet high. Okay, our body is warm, it is ready for this. We're going to take 10 deep and long breaths together here, really feeling that fire and that burn through our entire body. That's what our yoga practice is all about moving and breaking down any stagnant energy, disease, or sickness, really helping us flush through this new energetic life force vitality. Five more breaths, inhale, exhale, breathe in, breathe out, fill up with courage, let go of doubt, Inhale, love. Exhale, fear. Last one, breathe in. Exhale, release. Whoo, shake it out. Good. Now here in just a moment, we are going to stand up using our chair as a support system. Now, if you have a walker or a wheelchair that you'd like to use, or if you need assistance standing up, go ahead and take your time. I'm gonna give you just a couple seconds to find your way to standing up. If you don't feel comfortable standing up today, that's perfectly fine. Everything we do, you can do from your chair. Just modify in a way that feels right for you. Let's do it.
All right, so here we are using that chair as our support system. We'll bring our feet hips width distance apart and we'll just begin by standing up nice and tall. Now from here, we'll start to bend our knees just like we're coming into that chair pose like we did before. Just as low as feels good in your body. Try and press your weight back towards your heels instead of leaning forward into your chair. So we wanna keep our spine stacked. Good, now come all the way back up, press through your heels. Let's do it again. Slowly lower into those knees and slowly lift back up. Two more, lower into those knees, feel that burn and then all the way back up. Last one, best one, lower, hold, three, two, one, all the way up, good. From here, we will lift up onto our tippy toes, really try and challenge our balance, and then lower your heels. If you want an added challenge, maybe as you lift your heels, you float one hand up and then set it down. Lift your heels, float another hand up, and set it down. Two more, lift, float, and down. Lift, float, and down. Great work. Now, pick up one knee and then set it back down on the ground. So we're just gonna find these little marches, okay? So the higher you can get your knees, the more mobility in your hips. But if you're still working on that mobility, maybe you're just picking your feet up off of the mat about an inch at a time. So you go ahead and find your variation. We're gonna march here. Now, if you feel fully supported, and like you can, you can even start to bring maybe one hand off of your chair. Now really make sure you're feeling sturdy and grounded, and then maybe the other hand off of your chair. Keep going with me, lift those hips. We just got about 10 more here. Now, if you're really stable, you can even bring both hands up, okay? Take your time, maybe slow down the pace and maybe slow down the cadence of the steps if you're balancing. Always grab that chair if you need to. Let's do three, two, and one. Center here. Now let's play with some balancing. We're going to root into our left foot and lift our right knee up as high as you'd like it. Try and find that balance. If you feel too wobbly, just rest your toes on the ground and play with that balance instead. Now the same variation goes here. You can hold as you are. You can try and pick up one arm, the other arm, or both arms and hold for five, for four, for three, two, one. Release, good, shake out your legs. <laughs> good, other side, let's lift that other knee high, root down into your left foot, open through your chest and find your balance. It really helps to find one non-moving point to focus on. In yoga, we call that our dristi gaze, our single pointed focus. Sometimes that focus is outward, sometimes that focus is inward. So you choose. Float one arm, both arms, no arms, five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful work. Last balancing shape for us today is called airplane pose. It's a new one. Now bear your weight into that left foot. You'll take your right toes and just send them back behind you, just like this. Okay, now this is a pretty challenging balance, so take your time. This might be where you stay. If you have more in you, you can start to kind of lift your right toes and then set them down. Lift and set. We're stretching through the front line of that right quad here. We're working our glutes and our low back for strength. Three, two, one. Now hold here. If you have more space, you can start to lean forward. Really hold onto that chair for five, 
four, three, nice airplanes, two, and one, slowly come up. Whew. Big breath in, big breath out. Other side, weight into your right foot, left toes go back, and let's pulse here, up and down. Right? Maybe your pulse is just a little bit. Maybe it's a lot. Try to not hyperextend that bottom leg though, and maybe just keep it slightly bent for a little more balance. Let's do three. Let's do two. And one. Hold. Start to lean forward. Airplane pose. Right? It looks just like an airplane if our arms were out wide with our wings for three, four, two. And one, nice work. That's also called warrior three. We're going to finish our standing series with just a couple more marches, just to make sure we're nice and warm to round out our class five. We've got four and three, two, one. Great work, guys. Come back to your chair to close out together. Finding just a few moments here. Just notice how you feel. To receive the benefits of your practice. to thank yourself for showing up, and maybe to extend out some love and kindness, and prayers or blessings or gratitude to anyone that comes to mind. Our practice does not stop once we get off of our chair or move into our next activity this is a practice that is deeply ingrained in the way that we live our life with presence, compassion, strength, and vulnerability. And the ability to just appreciate exactly where we are. Let's take a final breath in together to close out. and let it all go. As always, it has been my highest honor to share this yoga practice with you from my chair to yours. Have the most amazing rest of your day, and I'll see you next time. Namaste.